Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and um, I wanted to talk about uh, some of the stuff that is different. What are you missing out? Some people were asking me, am I missing out on features? Am I missing out on something in Windows 10 on a old laptop versus something new? And the answer is yes. So I've been of course using a six, five, roughly 5 or 6 year old Toshiba which was still very powerful. It was a Core i5 machine that was quite good but it's still five or six year old technology so of course that means that there's new features because hardware gets updated the hardware also not is it that it's more um, effective that it's faster it also integrates new features that can be used by an operating system so in an example of what is um, better well, first of all, when you have an older machine, some of the hardware, like Wi-Fi, for example, is older. So Wi-Fi in my new laptop is AC, which is um, better than actually N, which was on the older laptop. It means it connects on, um, you know, different networks and different speeds, faster speeds on Wi-Fi also. Somewhat more distance. Uh, Bluetooth. Bluetooth on this machine is the latest version. It's actually compatible with the low power uh, devices that is required for the uh, you, your phone app to mirror. So this is something that works on this machine that didn't work on my older machine. Why? Because it didn't have those new technologies. There are things within Windows that you can do also. When you actually go to um, um, you know your browser uh, when you do things there's a casting capability the casting capability was working for example with Google Chrome if I wanted but wasn't working in Edge or Edge Chromium now I could cast media to device and it actually tells me that there's devices available that I can cast to so this of course shows me that there are now capabilities that I couldn't do before some of them are because of hardware some of them are because of speed sometimes it's just that your computer can't manage all the speed uh, required all the power required to do a certain feature uh, another um, thing that I've noticed for example is that you can check out what is happening uh, with the um, different options in the gaming section here this is a gaming laptop so all the things that have to do with broadcasting all the things that have to do with captures and recording of games is something that wasn't actually available and now it is on this machine why because it is a dedicated machine and it has of course some of that uh, new hardware that's capable of handling all of this another feature that was not available uh, in the um, older laptop because it didn't have that capability um, is BitLocker. BitLocker is a encryption to your drives and your files if you want. Now with this one I can turn on BitLocker. On the older computer it said that I was missing some of the security features. Why? Because there are some new security features within new computers and one of them was TPM I now have TPM administration something that I didn't have on the older laptop so yes you are missing out on some features now that said you're not necessarily missing out on anything that you know is preventing you from doing um, business on your computer a lot of these features are more advanced features that a lot of people don't use and if you have an old laptop it probably is fine. Honestly, if I look at my uh, old Core i5 that now is an insider machine, for probably most people it would be fine and be perfect for what they do because it would be fast enough and work ju it works just great. So, you know, these are things that we got to think about that it depends what you want and what you want to do. Yes, totally, this computer is much faster that's something that I do notice immediately but the other the old one is still fast enough probably for most people 
And that's something that a lot of people uh, probably, you know, don't necessarily require uh, anything newer and anything, um, you know, that has the latest technology in them. Uh, that is more for like the geeky type or, or people like me that actually work on their computer and need something that actually does and has great performance. And of course, there's a lot of hardware changes. Uh, you know, USB ports on your PC might uh, be, you know, on a very old machine, could be only USB 2. Then you have USB 3 now. Uh, you can actually see if you have USB 3. If you have USB ports that are blue, they are USB 3. I have a USB-C connector on this machine, which is something that I didn't have before. USB-C is the latest, greatest in USB connections. It actually is tons faster than USB 3 or 2. Um, you might have gigabit, gigabit Ethernet. Now, some old computers actually do integrate gigabit Ethernet, but um, a lot of them are just, you know, 100 megabits per second. Now, for internet access, it doesn't matter. It's for file transfers between computers, for example. Now, that on the network will be a big difference. But overall, yes, you do miss out on stuff when you have an older computer. But is it really worth it to buy a new computer? Honestly, for most people, probably not. And for some that want to have the latest, greatest, well, it's kind of nice to see all these new features working. And, of course, I'll be here and be able to show you guys and talk about it with this newer computer. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.